Okay, before this video starts, I just want to say, do y'all really have to do me like this? Like, come on now, that's so disrespectful, dude. Hey, what's up, y'all? So today, I'm going to be addressing the reason why you might hear people calling Warface Breakout the Counter-Strike of consoles, and the reason why it might just be the CSGO for Xbox and PlayStation. Now you guys know me, I don't like messing around with small talk, I just want to get straight to the point, so I'm going to get straight to the point. My Dot Games and a shit ton of other companies decided to band together and make this beautiful game called Warface Breakout. However, it does have a bunch of flaws, but it seems like they're getting their goal done, they're making a Counter-Strike kind of simulation game for consoles, but there are similarities, but the dissimilarities are what I want to point my finger on and let you guys know that the game isn't really Counter-Strike and why it might be a little better in some cases. What I really love about after playing my 10 hours of Warface Breakout is I love how tactical you have to be in order to get kills and how much thinking it takes, but I also really demise the amount of lag that I have to deal with every single game. It never fails. Usually I'll get like high lag spikes every now and then. Like What you just seen on the screen is what you basically have to deal with every game. Now, to be honest, I will cut the game some slack. It's only 12 days old at the time of this recording, but I'm sure every other player has to deal with this. No matter how good your connection to the server is or how good your Wi-Fi is, it's just what you gotta deal with. So I'm gonna deal with it now, considering the game's like... The game's still in its infant age. It's got so much time to come. Hell, Season 1 isn't even out yet. Now, don't get me wrong. We do have another big title tactical shooter on PlayStation and Xbox called Rainbow Six Siege, but honestly, I don't really enjoy playing that game. And you best believe, you COD fans better not call this a Call of Duty knockoff. It is completely different. It is leaning way more on the Counter-Strike side. And you guys might see this as Search and Destroy, but no, this is the whole entire game itself. And this is not a run and shoot. You have to actually take cover, you have to help your team, and you have to do planning. Communication in this game is literally key. What I hate is when none of my teammates have mics. For example, this game, nobody was talking. And I was ready to like make callouts and stuff. But why would I make callouts to, like, people that aren't going to say anything back, you know? Now let me tell you, something I really admire in this game is that just like Counter-Strike, just like Valorant, all those other games, they added a weapons currency system. That's right, you can't just go ape shit crazy and buy whatever you want. You have to actually think about your team and what guns you should buy to benefit them and yourself. What makes it even more unique is that every weapon is different. You will not come across a single gun in the game that are just like each other. Because there isn't a single gun in the game that are similar to each other. That's what's great about it. Some people are really good with snipers. Some people are really good with shotguns. Hell, some people are even good with burst SMGs. All it takes is a little bit of time and a little bit of gameplay to figure out what weapon best fit you. And what you can do to benefit your team and get that 8 to zero win ratio and casual games are best out of 15 rounds so basically if your team gets eight the game's over if the enemy team gets eight the game's over but you guys do switch sides in the middle of the game say it's six two you guys will end up switching sides so that's what i really like about the game even if you're really bad at defense and you start as defense you have an opportunity to switch over to offense and maybe even get that sweet w even if you're already like in the middle of the game, you're like, this shit sucks, I'm not going to win. You still have a chance. There ain't no point in giving up. And I know some of you are probably wondering if you don't know already. No, Warface Breakout is not free. You have to pay $20, 20 US dollars to get the game. I don't know what it's going to cost in other currencies, but that's for you guys to find out if you guys are not in the United States. So... Let me tell you though, it is really worth $20, and I will have to make a video on why it's worth $20, but trust me, if you guys don't want to spend 20 bucks on it, I'm pretty sure sometime in the future, my.games is going to throw it out for free, because they'll be like, you know what, this game's not too much opportunity, we'll make enough money off the battle pass and case purchases, so why not make it free? But yeah guys, those are some of my opinions, actually one of, some of my main opinions that I have on the, this 5v5 shooter. It's the best 5v5 shooter on PlayStation at the moment right now. I can't say anything for Xbox because I don't personally play Xbox. But you guys let me know what your favorite game is in the comment section down below. And if you're one of those 88% of people that aren't subscribed, 
please subscribe let's get that number down to i don't know maybe realistically 40 because i know there's no way we could get it down to zero unless y'all want to be cool like that thank you for watching i stream every single day so make sure you guys tune in it's at random times i hope to see you guys there add me on playstation my psn is on the screen just text me hit me up if you guys want to play some breakout and peace no but low key i'm kind of serious though it's like 30,000 people made this game